It's fascinating to see how even pop acts and artists are tackling topics with everyday real-world relevance. And not every song is a happy story about falling in love. Of course, heartbreak and loss have long been a favorite source of inspiration for singers of many cultures, and the guzzle is a part of this time-honored tradition. A trio of renowned Indian vocalists visited South Africa recently to celebrate the legends of the guzzle. If there were any doubts about the love and respect that the South African community has for Eastern music and song, then they were dispelled by the enthusiastic audience that gathered to hear three masters of an age-old romantic style. A ghazal is a form of poetic expression of both the pain in loss or separation and the beauty of love in spite of that pain. Today it takes the form of three world-renowned musicians who have come to South Africa for a one-night-only exclusive performance. Anup Jalota is based in Lucknow and he is known for his versatility with a repertoire ranging from devotional to movie playback. Pankaj Das has become an acknowledged master of the style in a career spanning more than 35 years. Dalit Aziz has earned acclaim as an actor and singer and makes up the third member of the lineup brought to our country by Osman Osman and Shais the Khan. Why did you decide to bring these three legends out to South Africa? These are three legends in India that's making worldwide waves with Ghazals and putting them on the stage was the name said it all. We called it the legends of Ghazal because they are the living legends of Ghazal. Anup Jalota began his career as a chorus singer for All India Radio. He's achieved fame as a performer of the Bhajan and Ghazal. And the Indian government has conferred a Padma Shri award upon him for his achievements in Indian classical music. Thank you so much for being with me on Mela. It is honestly such an honor to be chatting to you. My pleasure, Kriya. This is your 10th trip to South Africa. What keeps bringing you back? Coming here is like coming from bigger India to the smaller India. The beauty is people living here have saved the culture, saved the tradition. This gives such a great satisfaction that India is not just in India. India is here too. What is it about a live performance that really draws you in? Live singing is a very interesting experience. The audience is in front of you. When you're singing, you're watching the expression of people's face. That's why singing before audience is a beautiful experience. Where did your love for Ghazal come from? Any love song is a Ghazal. And it is written for or about or you are singing for the person you love. For this concert, Anup was joined by Talat Aziz, who comes from a family steeped in music and poetry. I was exposed to this kind of music at a very young age. Not that I planned to become a professional singer at that point of time, but I think just destiny led me to it. As a trio, you have been performing together for so long. How is that relationship? Is it like a group of brothers just getting back together again? You know, our friendship dates back almost, I don't know, 37, 38, 40 years now. Sometimes we don't get to see each other for months because we are doing our individual shows. But whenever we get together like this, it's not just a concert, it's also the times we spend together, apart from the concert, which is more important. What makes live performances in South Africa so special for you? As a performer, when you're on stage, you are singing for the audience. You are connecting with the audience, and then you are trying to be one with them. That's when, when you become one, it becomes like one beautiful evening together and they become your friends and you become their friends. Although Urdu is the primary language of the Ghazal, it isn't the mother tongue of Pankaj Udhas. Born Gujarati, he learned Urdu in order to pursue his interests in the Ghazal and he's become an internationally recognized exponent of the style. Welcome back to South Africa. This isn't your first time here. What keeps bringing you back? It's, it's such an amazing combination of uh, mountains, uh, ocean, uh, lovely vineyards, the warmth of people, the serenity, the peace, the quiet, the weather. It's, it's absolutely mind-blowing. If I had to retire, I would certainly retire in Cape Town. What makes Ghazals so special? Ghazals are basically poetry-oriented. There is a distinct, definite sound which you like to project. At the same time, you have the liberty of using as many instruments as you want. The freedom of musical presentation is matched by the variety of content and style. 
and the three legends perform songs of love ranging from the earthly to the spiritual, from the wistful to the elated. <laughs> Thank you. It's so good to see um, international artists that are connoisseurs in their art. I absolutely loved it. I mean, it's like the three tenors to the West. Just listening to the lyrics, listening to the music, the music takes you away. And when you're in that rhythm of the music, you get carried away. To me, not being here is not being at an event of the century.